we are going to play this neighbor game. I did a previous recording, but my mic wasn't working and that seems to be a big problem when it comes to me recording video games. So let's start this over. We're going to start with arcade mode. The following short film is a production of DDD with ed educational purposes. Hello, if you're watching this film, it's because you're the new doorman in your building. Your job is to, to determine whether the person who wants to enter the building is a doppelganger. As everyone knows, doppelgangers have the ability to transform into another person and, and impersonate them. But some are not too good at it, and could generate imperfections. You have to pay close attention to the appearance of your neighbors. Also, remember to fill out the checklist for each neighbor. You can't miss any detail because it could mean death for you and your neighbors. This is the structure of your office. Now we are going to explain how it works. Here is the security window. Don't forget to observe very well each individual who approaches. On the right, you have the folders with all the data of each neighbor according to the respective floor. To fill out the checklist, take one of the lists in front of you. Receive documents from this hatch. If you determine that the individual isn't a doppelganger, then allow them into the building with these buttons. Otherwise, if you determine that it is, in fact, a doppelganger, press the emergency button and call 3312. To communicate with the DDD or any apartment in your building, use the telephone in front of you. Your job is really important, so make sure you do it right. Finally, we congratulate the doorman of the month, Henry. It wasn't because he did an excellent job, but he was the only doorman in the area who didn't get killed by doppelgangers. Be like Henry. But better. Okay, let's do this. Welcome and congratulations on your new job. As you can see on the inventory film, the introductory film, your job is very is to verify. Oh, okay, sure. Each day there will be a list of individuals who will request, request entry into this building. It is possible that there are individuals who request entry and aren't on the list. In which case, you will mark on the checklist that they are not on the list and proceed to question the individual. Also, you must verify that the ID and the entry request are correct and have... Okay, don't forget to check the expiration date on the IDs. Remember, it's February 1955. I wish you good luck. All right, let's go. Well, hello, good sir. Um, you know, Arnold Schmidt, huh? So what happened? You don't look like you do on your picture. You're a writer? Okay. You have an ID? What's up with your appearance? Yeah, your head. You slept badly last night. Must be you must have slept really bad last night to end up looking like that. Oh, here's a checklist. Entry request. 
Yes, and you are you are on the list, but something tells me. Something tells me that you're not the man I'm looking for. Floor two, apartment one. Okay, you're still not fitting the appearance. I don't think that can happen from just sleeping rough, sleeping wrong. Five, one, two, three. Five, one, two, three. Yes, hello, is your husband home? No. You know, I don't trust you. Goodbye. Three. One. Two. Yes, there's a guy here with a funky looking head. He's lying to me about sleeping. Yes, please clean him up for me. Thank you. I will. Oh, hello. Did you do something with your, um, eyes? Well, you're not on the list. What happened? It looks like, um, spending too much time out in the sun melted your forehead and eyes? Hmm. How about we call this lady? I know you live with her. Let's see. Floor two apartment. Thirteen forty six. Yes, hello, not to be creepy, but is your daughter home? Your mother is not home. You're home. So if you're home and you're here, hmm. What happened to your face? Oh, not your ID. Oh. I hit the wrong one. I thought it. Where's your checklist? Appearance? Why do you look like that? Yes, your eyes. You're sick. With what? The pink eye? Looks exactly like pink eye. No, you're not. An emergency? Where? What? What? You're a child. Children don't have emergencies. Unless it's to use the bathroom. So I'm just gonna make a quick call to the doctor about your eyes. Yes, hello. There is a young lady here with a melted face. Yes, please. Thank you for sending the agents. Yes, yes, thank you. Nice to see you again. I will. Oh, hello. I know that you're not home, so let's see. You are on the list. 1973. Got that. Chef. And I know you're not home. Yeah. Yes, I will. Have a lovely day. Hello. 
You know, you always look kind of weird. Huh, you are not on the list. An emergency? Don't you work with shoes? An emergency shoe? 73, okay, mm-hmm. Where is your entry request? An emergency shoe problem. Let's call. Let's give your brother a call. One, two. Wait, two, six, six, eight. Yes, hello, is your brother home? He's not. Must be the shoe emergency. Okay. Well then, what happened to you? Checklist. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you in, but don't tell anyone. Bye. Oh, hello there. Doctor? Okay. Where is it? Where is your ID, sir? Oh, blah, 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 blah. 71. Okay, okay. Looking good. Physicist? 3-1. You live with this lady? 1425. Yes, is your uh, roommate home? Your fiance, he's not home, not roommate, but fiance, got it. Okay. So your ID, your appearance, your request, and you are on the list. Yes, everything's fine. Goodbye. Get out of here. Oh, hello there. Celine. Petey, okay. A model. Where's where he live? One four. Let's give your sister a call. Make sure you're you. Six nine nine six. Yes, is Celine home? No, she's not. Okay, that's interesting. All seems good to me. Okay, goodbye. Oh, you again. Answer is go away. Good sir. You gotta be polite. I know. Hello, Bruce Wayne. You are on the list. 65. 
apartment too on the second floor. So when I call this number, nobody better answer. And if somebody answers, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, sir. Seven three three two. Well, it appears that no one is home. Everything checks out. Yes. Now go back. To, go back to the back key. Yes, I can. Go away. Hey, that was a re re really weird guy that came here earlier that looked like you. But his his head was lumpy. So I'm pretty sure this is you, but I need your entry request. Let's see. Your wife did say you're not at home. So we're gonna go ahead and let you in. Yes. Everything is in order. Absolutely. Bye. Good afternoon to you too. You are on the list with three. Let's give your wife a call. Two, four, five, eight. Four, five, eight. I probably put in the wrong number again. Three, four, two, four. Oh, four, two, five, eight. Four, two, five, eight. Yes, is your husband home? No, he's not. Excellent. Yes, he's back. Everything seems good. Yes, you can come in. Oh, I will. And goodbye. You were just here. Right? What floor do you live on? 2-2. Two, two. Big eyebrows. But... Why does it look like your face shrunk? Your face looks tiny. I did. You know, you know, you already came in here. So, a good try, Mr. Doppelganger. <laughs> yes, there's a fake Bruce Wayne here. Yes. Come get him. Take him away. I will. Good. I will. 
Next, please. Next, please. Now. <laughs> um, excuse me, sir. You seem a bit tall. Yeah. It's always been long. No. No. I can't even see your face. Yes. Um, hey, you're not gonna believe this, but there is a human straw here. Please take it away. Get rid of the human straw. Put him in human milk. I don't want to see him. I can't even see his face anyway, so I don't... Oh, okay. That was quick. Nobody was killed. Perfect. 